welcome back to another video. Welcome to day 12 of the Spark Surprise UK advent calendar. Today we are working with a glitter called Escape. Look how stunning that is. Like it's literally beautiful. I love this sort of colour scheme and it's got really cute little stars in it as well. So we're going to use that today and alongside it we're going to use the colour Fleur from Gel Perfection. This is the colour of it. Definitely need to clean the bottle because it is disgusting. But anyway we're going with it. Um, So we're going to be doing a full nail of this glitter. Just see what it looks like as a full nail and then also another nail with a bit of design like just to mix it up a little bit so first things first what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint both these nails with fleur um i'm going to do two coats on one and just one coat on the other and then i will meet you back here basically because there's no point me painting all of those coats on camera i will do just this one so you can see the color because it is beautiful um and i'll get the others done away from the camera so it's quicker but look at that colour isn't it stunning so I'm just going to do the rest quickly and then I'll join you back here so while we're waiting for that to come out of the lamp I'm just going to do what I need to do while we wait so I'm just going to get some base coat because we're going to be applying these this glitter with like in a gel sort of way so I'm just going to get myself some base coat not quite a lot and then I'm going to just basically pop some of this glitter into that base coat to create a gel I'm just going to pull some out and pop it in there and then I'm going to mix it all together see if we need any more base coat which I think I will to be fair I've just put a lot of glitter in that I just want to mix it round so all of that glitter gets gets base coat basically so I'm just going to go ahead and apply some more base coat just to it out a little bit because I want to be able to add glitter um, onto the nail when this is already on so I don't want it to be too concentrated because it'll be difficult to use so that's that that's that done Let's push that to the side so this nail's done now because this is the one that I'm just having one coat on so I'm basically just going to go ahead now and with my just random nail art brush doesn't have to be any type of special one or anything it just looks like this it's from amazon in a in a like a a multi-pack and we're basically for a start i'm going to get rid of that hair we're just going to apply this um glitter to this nail this is one we're using as a full a full coverage nail now typically i'd just sprinkle a glitter over a nail um if it was like a medium mix and it was just the little horizontal ones with some fine glitter, that's how I do it. Um, just because it's the quickest way. But obviously because this has um, like shapes in, the stars, it's a little bit more difficult to do that. So I'm not doing that because we're going to end up with loads just sticking up and it's going to take longer to basically sort out the ones that are sticking up, sticking up than it is to just apply how we want them in the first place. So that's what we're doing. So I'm just picking up the bits that I want off my palette. And then once I've got like a fairly even amount of coverage of glitter and stuff, I will then get my glitter. I don't want this star, I'll put it back there, but just get that blue bit off it. So like I was saying, I will then get my glitter and um, fill in the gap sort of thing with my brush by just literally placing them exactly where I need them. So once I've done this, at this point here, I'm just going to apply a few more of the blue specks down here. don't need any more stars at this point, but just placing those there. Try to get that blue bit off that star. There we go. So once I'm at this point, I'm now just going to get my, my pot with the glitter. Well, it's not my pot, obviously. It's a bag at the moment. But it will be in a pot eventually when I get around to potting it. But I'm just going to get one more star first and just place that at the top left because I don't have any over there. So now I'm going to get my glitter that's in the bag at the moment. And I'm going to just sprinkle a few pieces onto my palette, basically. 
So once I've got some on there, I'm just gonna break them up a bit or just separate them with a with anything basically. And then I can literally use my brush. This might seem time consuming, but it's actually really worth it in the long run anyway, because you don't end up having to like file after you've applied it because everything will be nice and flat. Um, we don't want full coverage, full coverage where like we can't see the colour underneath. That's not what I'm going for. I want to be able to see that fleur colour because then it's going to really nicely match the other nail when we do that. Um, so all I am doing is just making sure that none of the stars have got any blue pieces of glitter on top of them. Because I want you to be able to really see those stars because they're very pretty. So all I'm doing is basically just going in some gaps with some pieces of glitter but also, like I said, leaving some gaps so we can see that colour that we've got underneath because it's such a cute colour. Obviously, you can use any colour underneath. It really doesn't make a difference. A nice dark blue would be nice because then your stars would really stand out. Um, but I want something quite subtle. And then I'm just going to put on here. Here. Uh, and then three more. I'm going to pop one down here, one up here. Just a little piece there covering that star a bit. That'll do. Don't have the patience to fight with it. <laughs> and then I'm going to put one just. I'm just getting all the excess ones off my brush so I don't accidentally place them where I don't want them. Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to place one here. I think, just having a look to see if I feel like I need any anywhere else. And if I do, obviously, you just fill in the gap. But I think that's about it. I'm going to move this one over here slightly and pop another one in there. That one's probably a bit too big, to be fair. I'm just going to move the star down a bit. There we go, but putting so much effort into like really making sure that they're where you want them and stuff like that and that you haven't got many like overlapping each other and things makes them really nice and flat and it makes it really, really easy for the next step. Like you don't have to encapsulate and stuff like that, but that's how that one looks like, look. It's all just one layer, but really, really shiny. It's so pretty, such a stunning glitter. It looks really, really effective. So I'm just going to move that because I only just noticed that's there. That one piece covering that star. There we go. Perfect. I feel like I've got enough on there now. That's covered the nail nicely. So I'm going to pop that into the lamp. And then with this one, we're going to apply it the same way to start with. So we're going to get our glitter in the base coat first. And basically, I'm just going to brush that out. I'm going to get base coat on it first and things first. I'm going to do just the right side. Because this side's going to be almost like a bit of a, a faded sort of effect. Again, I don't want any blue bits on top of my stars. I want you to be able to see the stars. My star there, so I'm just going to move those out of the way. And I can pick one up on its own. Place that on there. There's already one up that top bit, so I'm just going to move these off that. And then again, we can place the pieces exactly where we want them. So I'm not going to focus on the fade at the moment. All I am going to do is just get a bit of base coat, just base coat, no glitter, on my brush and just very gently add some base coat to that middle area so then once I've finished filling in the gaps on this nail like on the right side of it and I'm happy with where everything is I can then just place a couple of specks here and there to create like my faded effect and to be fair this side's actually worked out quite well coverage wise I don't think I need that many more pieces added on I'm just popping a couple here and there, but I think that'll do. And then this time, I'm going to pick up a couple of the bigger ones, like the bigger hexes, 
and I am going to place, oh, I dropped that one on the way over, and I am going to place them in the, oh, that's got a couple, I'm going to place them in the centre, so we're going to create the fade now, so I'm just going to pick them up, one by one, the large and medium one, so there's two different size hexes, um, so that's like a medium one, and there is larger ones, so I'll just pick one of those up to show you that. That's one of the larger ones I've just placed, and this one that I've got now is a larger one. And then we've got like medium sized ones that are this size here, that I've just placed now. So now I'm going to go in with the tiny ones and just pop those even further over. They're the ones that give us that faded effect because they're so small. They really help with that. And then just move them to where you want them, basically. I want a couple more of like the medium sort of sizes over up here. Keep picking like hundreds up at a time instead of just one or two because I didn't separate them enough on my palette and I did put out way too much to be fair but it's fine the easiest way to create the faded sort of effect is to really make sure that this side is like really compact with glitter because then obviously as it sort of fades into the middle there's less glitter and that makes the fade look a lot more effective so I'm just filling in those those areas now just to help out with the fade. I'm going to push him closer to that star so the star stands out a bit more and then I'll get another one to put just after it. And then it's just about manoeuvring the pieces basically to suit what you want it to look like. And then once I'm happy, I'm just going to pop that one further in and then get a little one. those further over and then that's that so I'm going to pop that into the lamp now this is what it looks like very very pretty I'm going to fully cure that and then all I'm going to do when it comes out is pop a coat of base coat on, like a nice floaty layer um, and then a top coat and then that will be nice and smooth because we've obviously put a lot of effort into making sure that all the bits were flat because we literally placed, oh got hiccups, placed them exactly where we, put, where we wanted them. So as you can see from this angle, there's really not anything really showing up that much and as you can see these are quite raised as well so the fact that these are flat means that they've they'd be even more flat if they're on your actual nails which is which is obviously a bonus so like i said i'm going to put floaty layer of base coat on and by that i mean i'm going to add quite a lot of product basically way too much you don't want to put it on where it's going to flood everywhere and you're going to have to clean it up because that's just pointless but i'm going to put quite a lot on and instead of like really pressing down and pulling it off like that i'm literally just pressing it to the top to add it to the nail and then just pulling down really gently and then once I've done that, that's when I'll go back over and take off any excess. So I'm just wiping off, wiping it on the bottle, wiping it in the bottle again, wiping off, wipe it on the bottle, and then go like that. And then as you can see, all that base coat is really seeped between every single piece of glitter. So it's nice and smooth, you don't have to worry. I'm going to pop that into the lamp. And then because we place all those pieces exactly where we want them, we're not going to have to bother... Um, what's it called finish filing or anything at the end like you're literally just going to top coat and they're going to be perfect because we've put them flat whereas if you'd sprinkled everything on you've got to put a bit more effort into flattening it all down and getting it all perfect so it swings around about it depends what you want to spend the time doing i don't have the patience to be messing about with all the bits that are sticking up when i sprinkle it and obviously that wasn't the look i was going for anyway i wanted the nice color underneath to show through so that's why i did it this way but you can do it whatever way you like um, so I'm just going to pop these in the lamp now. I will top coat them when they come back out and then show you what they look like. 
Okay, so here is the finished look. I absolutely love how they turned out. They're so, so sparkly and such a beautiful colour, honestly. I absolutely love it. Um, let me know whether you like this glitter or not. I think it's so stunning. Um, and thank you so much for watching, as always. And I'll be back soon with another video. Bye!